Hi, Kevin. Hi, Jill. Is Maeve around? Um, she and Johnny are both upstairs. Do you think it would be all right if I went up? Jill. Dee's just got back from the hospital. They're getting her settled in now, and she's having a reunion with little John. I wanted to talk to Maeve about Roger. Obviously, it can wait. I think that might be better. Pat, uh, are little John and Dee staying on here with Maeve and Johnny? Temporarily, till Dee's more stable and Frank figures out what he wants to do. How is Dee? Glad to be home. <laughs> yeah, I bet she is. I understand you brought her in from the ledge. That was real brave of you, Pat. Uh, not really. I didn't have time to be afraid, not till we were both back inside the room. Hi. Oh, Seneca. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm really friendly with Dee, but I didn't want to wait to tell you. Faith, tell me where you were. Hi, Pat. Hi. Well, what do you have to tell me? I just came from a meeting at Marshall Westheimer's. The board wants me to stay on as chief of neurology. <laughs> hey! As an administrator, I won't have direct responsibility for the patients, of course, but at least I'll get to go on with my research. Oh, mm. Seneca. Oh, that's marvelous. Oh. oh, I am so happy for you. This really is good news. <laughs> I mean, not just for you, for all of us. Thank you, Pat. Does Bucky know you? Oh, yeah, I just called him. He's on the houseboat. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go tell the folks. This will be one thing off of Ma's mind anyway. Right. I'll see you, Joe. Right. So, thank you, Miss Colbert. <laughs> oh, no, not this time. Every time that I decide that Riverside Hospital is a hopeless bureaucracy, unresponsive to the world at large with a computer for a heart, they turn around and do something to redeem themselves. Only this time, this time they really were smart. Ah, you think so, yes? <laughs> Of course I do. The keeping your name and your talent and the research. Well, you know, I had decided to stay in New York already, but uh, I'm really happy it's at Riverside. No, I didn't know you had decided on to stay here. Yes, you did. At any rate, we now have something very specific to celebrate tonight. <laughs> yeah, we do. Actually, it's uh, the one joyous thing that's happened since we got back from the beach house. Uh, I assume you're referring to Frank's situation. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I spent a lot of time today wondering about what happened between the two of you when I left last night. Did you tell him about us? Matthew's condition is extremely grave. But he's gonna be all right. I'm afraid not. Can Bo and Nora save their child's life? We are not gonna let our son die! And... I've been here for eight years. Put me out of here! What happens when two Todds come face to face? What do you want? One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, weeknights on SoapNet. This week on All New Views, all hail the queen. Latifah, that is. Plus country singer Brad Paisley. Then Dr. Oz makes a house call. Curse your lips. And come celebrate Elizabeth's birthday. <laughs> this week on All New Views on ABC. At Pedigree, everything we do is for the love of dogs. So we've added more healthy ingredients to every bag we make, like essential oil for their skin and coat, vitamin E and C for a strong immune system, egg-shaped kibble for clean teeth, fiber for a happy tummy, and lots of other good stuff dogs need. Because we believe every dog deserves leading nutrition. From wet nose to wiggly butt. New Pedigree. 
Colorful, original, and now number one in the U.S. That's Outlast Lip Stain from CoverGirl. Light as air lip wear that does what a lipstick can't. The precision pen glides over lips with a flush of sheer color. It's never sticky because it's a stain. Read my lips. This is not a lipstick. With one sold every 15 seconds, it's the number one selling lip stain in the U.S. Outlast Lip Stain from Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. Top it off with the glossy shimmer of Shine Blast. Can a little bowl of cereal change your life? I think it can. One of the challenges for Kayla being gluten-free is actually finding choices the whole family will love. Then we discovered Czech cereals. Five flavors of Czechs are gluten-free, including the honey nut flavor, and that's amazing to a mom like me. As a parent, you don't want to have to tell your kids no all the time. It's nice for me to be able to say yes to something that they want to eat. Czech cereal. Five flavors. Gluten-free. Okay, guys, how's the family gonna use less? I'm gonna use less honey. I'm gonna text less. Well, I'm gonna use less bath tissue with Charmin. With Charmin Ultra Soft, you can feel good while using less. Charmin Ultra Soft's ultra cushiony design is soft and more absorbent, so you can use four times less versus the leading value brand. Ah, uh, using less never felt so good. Charmin Ultra Soft, enjoy the go. Mary? Surprise! Oh, you damn right it's a surprise. Uh, where'd this thing come from? I found it under a toadstool. Ah, uh, I see. Uh -huh. Two more questions. Yes? How'd you, uh, how'd you get it up here? Bob and Clem Moultrie helped me with it. Uh-huh. And, uh, how do you propose to get it out? Well, I don't, actually. Uh oh Because, if you recall, I need a drawer space, and when you wouldn't rearrange your things, we agreed I'd get myself something. And if you recall, I said I made most of the storage space in this uh, place, and that I'd uh, build something for you, too? I didn't want you to have to bother. Yeah, very, uh, very considerate of you, Mary. But it's true, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, it seems so simple. It's exactly what I need. It was free, and I had friends to help me get it up the stairs. What is the problem? Well, basically, the problem is I, uh, I was not consulted. But you said it Where was... Where did you say it came from? My father's basement. Jack. You called Johnny? Yes. Why? Why? I needed a chest of drawers. I knew Dal had a chest of drawers, so I called to ask him if we could have it. What is going on? I don't like the idea of you solving our very first domestic problem by running home to Daddy. Well, you didn't seem very interested in solving it. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Uh-huh. I didn't mean it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you oh, did. honey, please, let's not fight. This is crazy. Yeah, well, don't turn me into the head. I'm huh? not. You seem to be suggesting I want to fight with you over a chest of drawers. No, I am suggesting that I don't understand why we are fighting over the damn chest of drawers. Because I don't want that particular chest of drawers in my apartment. Your apartment. Our apartment. No, no, no. Right the first time, Jack. It's your apartment. You know what the problem really is, don't you? It's how do we fit our marriage into your apartment. Now listen, it is really important to keep this in perspective. 
Yeah, well, from any perspective, it's, uh, it's an eyesore. Oh, it is not. It's a perfectly conventional bureau, and that's not what I'm talking about anyway. Jack, you're so used to living alone in this place, with everything arranged just the way you want it, that you have no idea in the world of what it means to share. And, honey, I don't know how we're going to be married and not share. Well, I'm trying to share, but sharing is not moving in some monstrosity without consulting your partner. Jack. You wouldn't share your dresser space with my things. Apparently, you're not willing to share floor room with my chest. Let me tell you, it makes me a little bit nervous about breathing your air. Sarcasm is counterproductive. You're right. I'm sorry. Look, in my flawed opinion, there are any number of things which society expects of us which are not particularly natural to the human condition. Now, monogamy is one, sharing is another. Now, when, when you combine monogamy with the situation in which a person has to share all the things that are most personal and important to him, what do you got? Trouble? Marriage. Oh. I'm trying, Mary. I know you are. I guess I just, uh, I counted on you understanding exactly what this apartment means to me, and I, I'm not sure you can. We're, uh, ten to the room at the Good Shepherd. Uh, five beds against each wall, very style. With a locker at the foot of each bed. Anything you had, which wasn't much, you, uh, you put in your locker. And if you forgot to snap the padlock, well, that was, uh, that was just your tough luck. There was never any privacy, and there was no space or time alone. Except at night, and... And there was always at least a couple of guys who snored, so I could, uh, I could go out and sit on the stairs, or I could take a book and go down to the washroom and read and pretend that there was nobody else in the whole world but me. When I finally got this apartment, it was the most satisfying thing that ever happened to me. I can understand that. I do understand it, but honey... Yeah. When you asked me to marry you, didn't that mean I'm welcome here, too? Yes. Well, then I guess the problem is my things. I travel light, but there are a few essentials. I have to have some place to put them. It's just that simple. Well, you don't have to put them in an oversized chest that you got from Johnny Ryan without consulting me. Well, then, damn it, I'll put them in the middle of the floor. I really don't care. Mary! One of us better take a walk to Me. cool off. I wouldn't dream of asking you to leave your precious Me. apartment. Or I'll start throwing drawers off the terrace. I have to get justice for Zach. How close? I will marry him if I have to. Is too close. If he doesn't kill you first. To catch her husband's killer. And... Why are you looking at me that way? Is Jack on to Erica's lookalike? Watch All My Children. Weekdays on ABC. And weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Some people don't notice the difference between meat and mystery when they enter the frozen zone. With my Purdue frozen nuggets, there is no mystery. Just real all white meat made with 100% natural ingredients. Purdue frozen chicken, all white meat, no mystery. Welcome back, jogging stroller. You've been stuck in the garage while I've been sneezing from the dust in here and the pollen outside. But with 24 hour Zyrtec, I get prescription strength relief from my allergy symptoms. It's the brand allergists recommend most. Lily and I are back on the road again, where we belong. With Zyrtec, I can love the air. Get up to $6 in savings on Zyrtec products at ZyrtecTV.com. Congratulations to M&M's Pretzel for being 2011 Product of the Year in the Candy and Snacks category. I think I may regret this. You know, personally, I would have gone with the Dragon, but this is a close second. Oh. M&M's Pretzel. Salty, sweet, and Product of the Year. I've never been happier. That makes two of us. We are finally moving on from Lisa. A jilted ex. Lisa is unbalanced mentally and emotionally. She's just as obsessed with you as she ever was. Patrick is going to pay for the way that he treated me. Out for one final act of revenge. You're going to be dead in an hour. You can't leave me down here! But this week, the tables will be turned. 
General Hospital, weekdays on ABC, weeknights on SoapNet. No, I... I didn't tell Frank about us. I think you deserve to know why. Come on. Listen, uh, is it comfortable for you to talk about this here in Ryan's? Or uh, do you want to go on to the restaurant? It's still early, isn't it? Yeah. Well, then let's stay here. There's very little that's important to me that I, I haven't discussed in this room. Okay. Thank you. I didn't tell Frank about us last night because... because I didn't have an emotional opportunity, if you know what I mean. So Frank did ask me about us. What did you say? That you were my friend, which you are. That I care about you very much, which I do. And that I wanted to share some of your unhappiness and do what I could to make you feel less alone. All of which is true. All of which you've done. But Seneca, I couldn't tell him that we made love to each other. He wouldn't have understood what that meant to me when it happened. He would have interpreted it, tated it in, in terms of his relationship with me, and that's not what it was. It had nothing to do with him. It was between you and me. I understand. Tell me, um, in light of the situation between Frank and Delia, has anything changed between you and Frank? <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same, right? Yeah. I mean, Frank says the marriage is over. He's lefty. That should change things, only it doesn't. Still responsible for her. And right now, she's in very bad emotional state. And he's also responsible for little John. What does he do about that? He can't take that baby away from Dean. At the same time, he can't, can't let her take care of him. So there he is, exactly where he was last fall, in the middle of a campaign. And any kind of scandal now, I mean, if... D left Frank for someone else, or Frank left D for me. Oh, God, it'd just be a disaster. You know, someone said that if Frank wins the primary in September, then he's sure to win the general election in November. <laughs> Let me put it this way. The other party hasn't sent a congressman to uh, Washington in 40 years. Mm. And Frank is, is the favorite. But the other guy is good. And Frank is gonna not walk away with it. He has to work hard. You both have to work. And Seneca, any hint of any trouble in their private life, I mean, it just can't happen. Okay, I understand the political ramifications. What about the personal ones? Seneca, I love Frank. I told him last night that I would wait for him. Wait for him. Uh, does that mean that he plans to get a divorce and marry you after the election? I don't know. If he can get a divorce, if if fair arrangements can be be made in terms of little John, if his conscience will let him remarry, then yes, I suppose that we will be married. But Seneca, one way or another, Frank and I are going to be together. But, you know, when you say it out loud, it sounds pretty conditional, even to you, doesn't it? Hmm? For more reasons than just my own, I, I hate to see you investing your emotional future in a married man with a neurotic wife and a child that he's terribly, terribly fond of. To me, too? Of course, of course. But, but Delia's needs and little John's are paramount with Frank because he is a responsible human being. Now, where does that leave you? Seneca, don't... Just don't do this to me, please. Sorry. I guess uh, you sound a little like one of your better cross-examinations, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, it sounds kind of familiar. Considering I've said it over and over again to myself so many times. But I do love him. You have to know that. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Hey, listen, why don't I, uh, call the restaurant to see about moving our dinner reservations up a half hour, all right? Mm-hmm. I think that'd be a good, good idea. All right. Well, uh, I'll be right back. You were upstairs. Can I sit down? Oh, please do. Pat uh, happened to mention that you were down here. He uh, said that Delia's home from the hospital. Yeah. How is she? Better, I guess. I was standing over there watching you talk with Seneca. We're having dinner together. No reason why you shouldn't. It's just that when I see you with him, I'm... Frank, we're friends. I know that. And I know that you love me. And I... I, I just want to be here with you. I want to be the one who's taking you out to dinner. You will be. You will be. If we're patient and good now, in a few months, I promise you, you'll have everything that you want. We'll have everything that we work so hard for in terms of your future together. And Frank... We'll have each other for the rest of our lives. That's certainly worth waiting for. Oh, yes, it is. Frank? Seneca, Pat uh, told me about the marvelous news. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, well, I guess uh, you'll be around for a while then, huh? That's what it means. Yeah, well, uh... Let me just say for all the Ryans that uh, we're just very happy for you. I appreciate that, Frank. Enjoy your evening. See you soon. They're ready for us. Should we go? Yeah, please, let's. say something without making you mad? That depends. With Dee just home from the hospital, I don't think it's fair or kind or even in your best interests to be down here with Jill. Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. Son, are you okay? Matthew. Now. Matthew's condition is extremely grave. But he's gonna be all right. I'm afraid not. Can Bo and Nora save their child's life? We are not gonna let our son die. And I've been here for eight years. Put me out of here. What happens when two Todds come face to face? What do you want? One life to live. Weekdays on ABC. Weeknights on SoapNet. What's the difference between eHarmony and dating sites? eHarmony puts you together based on your personality, and it just makes you feel confident that it's going to work. And it did work. <laughs> Visit eHarmony today and review your compatible matches free. Uh, Mama, what have we here? Butterfinger Snackers. I've never heard of those. Oh, they're just the latest thing. Chocolatey little treats with a smooth Butterfinger Center. Mmm, I love Butterfinger. I think I'll try one. Mm -mm, I think you won't. Butterfinger Snackers. Crispy, chocolatey, bite-sized treats with a smooth Butterfinger center. Nobody's gonna lay a finger on my Butterfinger Snackers. 
Have you met your skin twin? CoverGirl True Blend has skin twin technology. Other makeup can sit on your skin so it looks like makeup. But True Blend has skin twin technology to actually merge with your skin. How easy, breezy, beautiful is that? True Blend from CoverGirl. Who's coming and who's going? SoapNet has the status update on your favorite stars. On General Hospital, Bruce White's is back as gangster Anthony Zakara. At some turn of events. On The Young and the Restless, Emily O'Brien is saying goodbye to Genoa City. Another time? Daytime favorite Tamara Braun is Taylor on Days of Our Lives. Okay, I'll drink to that. And on One Life to Live, Roger Howarth is back in Landview. I have to be with my family. Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet. People are talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Sookie Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up. So damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. I suggest again, Pat, that you stay out of a situation that you do not fully understand. I understand that you love Jill. And I think you're going to try to use what happened to Dee as an excuse to go back to Jill. And I know what that's going to do to Dee. You are not responsible for Delia. That's the point. You are. No. I tried to be, and that was a mistake. Delia is responsible for herself. What about your share of the marriage? What about your son? Pat, I don't need you or anyone else to remind me of my responsibilities. Now, let it alone. I can't. Because somebody has to say this to you and nobody else will. You've had plenty of confirmation of Dee's story that Roger forced her into an affair. No. Yes, yes. and in view of your voluntary relationship with Jill, I think there's a lot to be said for wiping the slate clean and beginning again. Beginning what? Your marriage. I don't know why Dee is remotely interested in resuming our marriage unless she remembers it quite differently from the way I do. At its best, it wasn't enough for her. I didn't give her enough love, enough attention, enough affection, enough money, enough time, enough anything. She was miserable. And after a while, I stopped thinking of her as a, a tragic, flawed little creature whom I could rescue from her misery. Let me tell you something, Patrick. Professional misery is a bore. Well, that's a new one. Dee bores you, so you're going back to Jill. That's not what I said. No, I... but it is what you're going to do, right? Let me suggest you keep your voices down, or else go back in the kitchen. <sighs> All right, Pat. Understand this, and then get off my back. I do not love Delia, and I can never love Delia again. I will not spend the rest of my life chained to a selfish, destructive, dishonest, neurotic woman, especially when the alternative is Jill. To the intelligence and compassion of the medical board at Riverside Hospital for having the good sense to keep Seneca Bolak on staff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll certainly drink to that. <laughs> to look at you, that's all. <laughs> Sorry about what's going on with Frank and Delia, because, well, I know you love him, and I don't see any happiness for you in that direction. I want you to think about something. What? You may find a more suitable and happier alternative with me. <laughs> 